In this quick tutorial, we're going to look at another question that's coming from the forums, and it's about the Magento media storage and what happens when the directory is not writable by the server. That's right, Dave. So let's just show you exactly what the error message is. So we've come into CMS static blocks and we've gone to edit a block and we've been and clicked on the insert image button. And we not only do we get this pop up window saying that the directory is not writable by the server, but we also get this red warning message at the top. And thankfully, Dave, this is dead easy to solve and we'll show you how to do that right now. So let's just close that window down. And what I've been and done is that I've been and logged in uh, via FTP to our site in the background. So you'll need to do that for, for your system and, and you'll know that you're in the right directory because you'll see there's a folder called app downloader. And specifically what we're looking for is a folder called media. So if you go into the media folder and what's actually in, in our case, what's actually missing is a new folder or a subfolder called WYSIWYG. So what we're actually going to do, we're going to go and create that folder on our system. So I've just right clicked into some white space just here and I'm then going to click on create directory. And on the end of here, I'm just going to paste in WYSIWYG. So that's W Y S I W Y G. Now, if I've gone a little bit quick for you, uh, again, I'm just leaving this up on the screen on purpose, is that what we'll do is underneath this video, we'll include the folder name so you can just literally just copy and paste it from YouTube. And we'll now click on OK and we've got a new folder on here. And what we're going to do is we're, we're going to change the file permissions. Now, try seven seven uh, tried to begin with 755 as the file permissions and if you get the same message after logging in and out in it in a few moments time come back and change that to 777 so again for the put ideally it needs to be 755 uh, and again for this purpose that, that just to show you how to get around this we're going to change ours to 777 and then click on ok now the key point here is that you need to log out of your system and then log back in again. So let's log back into Magento and we'll go to CMS and then static blocks and we'll go into with the block which we were testing with and let me just turn the editor off and then if we now click on insert image we'll see that the error message has been and gone away and of course we can then upload a file into our media storage uh, like so and just click on upload files and there we go, our image is now, we can upload it. Now, uh, just going back to FileZilla for a moment, is that if that folder did already exist, is that you'll need to make sure that it's got uh, as high as permission as possible. And if you do run into any problems, then the best thing which I would suggest is just contact your hosting provider, explain what the issue is and say that you've watched this video and tell them exactly which folder you've got a problem with and they'll be able to help you out. So for myself, Matt, and me, Dave, we'll catch you soon. Cheerios. So we hope you've been and found this video guide useful. And myself, Matt, and me, Dave, we believe that to use Magento, you don't need a degree in nerd. And that's what we've exactly what we've been and done. We've been and created you over 70 full HD video guides on how to use Magento, all in plain English. And if you'd like to know more about myself, Matt, or me, Dave, and more about what we're doing at Understanding E, why not visit us at understandinge.com forward slash now. And we'll see you there. And for myself, Matt. And me, Dave. We'll see you soon.